Hi, this is just a quick video on motion of an object in a vertical circle. Consider that this as a review for exam 2. You know, that's the circle that it's made uh, in a vertical circle. That's vertical motion actually. And we're going to look at the forces that act on an object making this vertical circle. Remember that at both these points, the weight of the object is going to act vertically downward. So that's the object. Its weight acts vertically down at both points, at the top and at the bottom. So that's the weight acting down. Now, the ten tension in the string is always going to be to the center of the circle. So the weight acts vertically down at both points and the tension in both cases. Uh, the tension here, this is the tension in, at the lowest point and you can take this as the tension at the highest point. So both these tensions are towards the center of the circle and the weight is vertically down at both points. So at the highest point you see that both the tension and the weight are towards the center while at the lowest point the tension is towards the center but the weight is away from the center now that's the primary difference so when you write the equations uh, at the highest point well the weight is mg the tension I'll later on call it t1 and t2 at b okay so I'm writing the equation for the lowest point first and clearly at b Tension and mg are in opposite directions. Therefore, when you take the net force, you're going to take the difference between the two. So, tension minus mg is the centripetal force. And centripetal force is mv squared by the radius. And in this case, the radius will be the length of the string. That will be the radius. But when you write the equation at a, since tension and weight both are acting down, the net force will be the sum of the two. So you get T plus mg is equal to the centripetal force. Definitely at these two points, the velocities are different. That's why you find the velocity here as V1 and the velocity at A is V2. So when the velocities are different, the tensions need to be different too. So let's call them T1 and T2 to know that and see those are the velocities and uh, tension at the lowest point let it be T1 at the highest point is T2 and so those are the two equations that we get when we consider the motion of an object in a vertical circle. Thank you.